Okay, we have a quick integral today from Caltech Math Me 2024. And for this one, I think we just need to look at it a different way. I mean, I guess we could leave it in terms of sines and cosines, but what I wanna do instead is break it up like sine over cosine times, just leaving the X off right now. And then if we do this, and then if we put this in terms of tangent and secant, so this is just gonna be tan X secant X. And the reason for doing that is if we rewrite the integral, we have something that's perfectly set up for integration by parts. Because I usually like to differentiate x. I mean, it's just as easy to integrate x with integration by parts, but the only thing is it won't resolve to a zero. When you differentiate x, you can differentiate all the way down to zero, so you know it's going to simplify. So that's going to differentiate. And this right here is good to integrate because the integral of that is just going to be secant x. So we'll do integration by parts with the DI method over here, differentiating x, integrating this thing. I usually like to do it the other way, secant tangent. So we'll differentiate, like I said, this goes to one and then differentiate again, and it's a zero. Here, integral is secant x. We need to integrate one more time. Integral of that is gonna be natural log absolute value, secant x plus tan x. And see the last row gets zeroed out. That's always good news because that means we don't have to integrate anymore. We can just grab our answer on the diagonal. This stuff and this stuff. So I think we have everything we need. Put it together and for the solution on this, we just get x secant x minus sign right there. Natural log absolute value secant x plus tan x. Add a plus c and that's it. All right, there you go. Super quick one from Caltech Math Me 2024. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a good day.